scatters when you play the beat, play the beat. A brainiac effects up. Now press one. Welcome to Brain Squeeze Reaction, myself, Mike Hector. What we're we reacting to now? A uh, kind of. Kind of a Tupac story, Tupac story, Tupac story, Tupac story. Uh, Keefy D, Keefy D. Now this is an interview where he's crying out to Diddy for help. So I've sent this to say that this is the one that started getting people questioning stuff, or, or one of many. When Keefy D was getting too big for his fucking boots, from what I'm hearing, was doing a lot of discussions, a lot of tongue wagging about information that maybe he should have kept himself fucking silent. We're all grateful you're a dumb motherfucker that can't keep his mouth trapped because now old creep. Mimi P, you know your little VMA award, you can fucking give that back, mate. Oh, you useless fuck. And you know there was so many people, so many people in the comments section when I was making fun of, of that VMA. I was not making fun of it, fucking visibly disgusted by, by the audacity of putting someone like that in a category that says he's some sort of fucking producer of the planet or some shit. I can't remember what bollocks they made up. And, and a couple of people had the audacity to start saying regardless of what you say did he still a legend he ain't okay that's you manipulated like any other fucker okay all the stories that are coming out about him now oh roll on the court case because creamy p you're going down mate and we said it ages ago on brain squeeze reactions and others were telling me for fucking years they've been thinking the same thing so let's listen to what Keefy D has to say so the way it works on brain squeeze reactions as you can see i talk a lot it's adhd Google it. Learn. Talkative, swear a lot, doesn't give a shit. Um, and, and that's what a reaction should be. It's a reaction, not just me sitting there waiting for you to go, that was good, and me just nodding politely. Shut the fuck up. That's weird, okay? You should be locked up the same as Cream Puffy, because allegedly he's a part of it. Does that keep me away from being sued? I don't give a fuck. Um, comment section is for love. It's not for hate. Hate is go fuck oneself. Keefy D cries out to P Diddy for help. Let's go! Oh, I fucking love the art of dialogue. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you had an issue with how Puffy treated his people, right? Like you. And I remember you saying that you had an issue with how Puffy... Okay, to be very clear, although I may celebrate some of the discussions that he's saying, it's because it's on the level of talking about old uh, rap face Diddy. Um, but at this moment in time, this motherfucker deserves no respect either. So to be very clear, don't think I, I'm crossing lanes. I'm fully aware who this person is and what he's being tried for. Okay, and all this stuff for Tupac and his family and obviously all the boys as well as part of that. So my celebration with this man is screaming out for Diddy because it digs the deeper hole that Diddy fucking deserves. As much as this dude who can jump headfirst into the same fucking ditch. Issue with how Puffy treat his people, right? Like you. And I remember you saying that you had an issue with how Puffy did shine. I just think Puff, you know, he needs to be a stand-up man, man. That dude who sat up there and did that time for you or nothing like that. Then you got this man living down there in police, living all fucking bad, man. You seem like you just leave your people for dead, man. That shit wrong, dude. Is Gene Deal complaining about you. I'm complaining about you. You ain't, nigga, you ain't. I heard uh, this, my, one of my homies from the 30s. I already get every quarter he gets clothes, all this shit. Then you gave this other dude some fucking uh, a brand new fucking Benzo or Maybach, another nigga piece of the record company. Yeah, damn, homie. I was on top of the world till I met your motherfucking ass, dude. Shit is wrong, dude. Come on, homie. I need something. To throw a dog a bone or something. Fuck. See, this is interesting. Now, he's just a selfish prick, so he's just like, oh, you're giving everyone else stuff. I ain't mean that. You're just a twat. You, you, you clearly were being used. But the point that he's making here is it's alluding to the fact of, look what I've done for you. That's the way I'm feeling it. The way he's like, look what I did. Throw me a fucking bone. You're buying him a Benz over there? You're buying him stuff? What about me, motherfucker? And I want to think about his in-depth reasons for why he's saying that. What did Keefy D do where he is saying, you owe me as much as you owe all the other people that you're helping? <laughs> Shit up there talking about you, uh, daddy love. Show us some love. Mr. Love, I be watching you, dude. Damn, you ain't said shit or keep you the or nothing. You just, you walk around me like I'm some shit on the ground or something. God well, damn, dog. Right. You can get in contact with me, man, nigga. There's ways around that shit, dude. Fuck. What the fuck? Man, you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel sorry. Ways for around that, homie. Throw my kids something. Throw somebody kids something. God damn. Okay, your kids, they didn't do anything. Daddy love. You ain't no love. That ain't love at all, nigga. That's some bullshit. That ain't cool, dude. 
You know what I'm saying? Swear, man. Gene Deal, Sean, KVD, just every fucking body, man. God damn. You just leave bad tastes in everybody's mouth, man. Come on, homie. Damn. You forgot where you come from. You know what I'm saying? I know I know I'm like some shit on the grass and shit, nigga. You know I was in fucking jail, nigga. You ain't throw a nigga a noodle. Fucking what you call that shit them uh just put the hot water on, man. God damn. Fuck. He sounds like a fucking child having a tantrum. That's what he sounds like. And I don't know who he's asking. He's obviously asking about Cream Puffy and stuff. And I get all that. But he sounds like a fucking child. You sound like a toddler that hasn't had something shared. But then still expects people to do something. Keefy D, man. What's the K for Karen? Fuck. Yeah. Life ain't been the same, bro. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? So I want a bad track. What? So I want to backtrack. You said that um you was on top of the world until you met Puffy. What you mean by that? Man. This is why you got to love Art of Dialogue, man. Oh, Vlad's only in it for himself. I don't watch that shit, man. He doesn't allow people to react to him. But also, given all the shit where he's acting like he solved the murder of Tupac, he did fuck all, mate. You did nothing. Um, and also, he stuck up his own ass. When it comes to Art of Dialogue, perfect questions, like You man. said that um you was on this top of the world until you met Puffy. What you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> man, shit, you I was getting 300 kilos a month, man, balling, man. Fuck, didn't nobody know about me. I was, my shit was smooth, dude. My shit was laid out smooth, man. I met your motherfucking ass and all the heat and thunder coming around with your motherfucking ass, man. Shit. Fuck. Keep me throwing... Dying to say something to say it. Just man, speak don't it. Don't leave bad taste in everybody's fucking mouth, You already dude. said that. Uh. Just like uh, when I was in the feds, you know what I'm saying? You dudes was drinking that fucking uh, that moonshine and shit, man. I used to every time we met at this room, them rooms at the concert night, I used to put two cases in the motherfucking uh, uh bathtub and shit, homie. You know what I'm saying? You ain't none of you, you know. You didn't, you weren't buying them bottles. You niggas was drinking moonshine. Said, this is how y'all do it, man. Let me show you how Cali niggas do it, man. Come on, man. Shit ain't right, dude. And I get, uh, uh, once I get in the field, I see you popping bottle. Poop, poop, poop. Nigga, you was popping moonshine at first. God damn. Homie, damn. There's ways around this, man. Come on, homie. Man, you got to do a better job, dude. I swear, homie. Yeah, I'm, I'm done, big dog. I feel you, man. So you feel like Puffy owes you then? I don't feel he owe me, but god damn. What the fuck? What are you trying you know to say? You brother love, come show some love. That's all I can fucking say. Show some love, brother love. You know, shit. Brother, I'll be seeing you doing your little pretty dance and all that, man. Show some love, homie. Come on, man. Don't be like that, brother love. What are some of the things you used to... I don't get what... what uh... You're not giving a reason for it, man. Show me some love, brother love. God damn. <laughs> Show me some love, brother love. God, God damn. <laughs> Show me some love. <laughs> God damn. That's literally what I've heard for the past fucking five minutes. Four minutes, but it's fine. You see you doing your little pretty dance and all that, man? That's Show funny. some love, homie. Come on, man. Don't be like that, brother love. What are some of the things you used to do for Puffy back in the day? Go more into detail about that. What exactly did you do for Puffy? I gave him a, you know what I'm saying, a pass through my town, man. Ah, uh, a dialogue again? <laughs> just a perfect little question. Just to go, come on, Keithy, in your pop. We know where we want to put you. You know the question you're asking there, Art of Dialogue, man. You know, and it's genius. I am fucking here for it. Things you used to do for Puffy back in the day. Go more into detail about that. What exactly we did you do know. for Puffy? I gave him a, you know what I'm saying, a pass through my town, man. Was Keefy D that powerful? Gave him a pass through my town. Boosie be talking that shit. Remember, Boosie talk that shit. Mother, well, you got to check in, motherfucker. And I was one of the ones you had to check in with, man. Yeah, you passed through my town, made sure you was unscarred, made sure you, you know what I'm saying? You was straight. Biggie probably would still be here, you would have said uh, the FBI was following us, you know what I'm saying? 
Because we all would have rolled out together, you know what I'm saying? Mobbed out, you know? And it would have been shots fired. We would have followed that car, everything, man. You tripped. I want the FBI following you. You didn't want to be around us. I think that was a bad move, dude. You know what I'm saying? To me. Yeah, but show some love, brother love. And just to make it clear, man, when Puffy came to L.A., you used to give him protection, right, from the Southside Crips because he was scared of sugar. This dude's genius. The stuff he's saying. you got to understand where we are currently. Our dialogue was firing the right questions, man. This this is an interrogation, but done in such a fucking way. Oh, you got to put some love for Art of Dialogue. You've got to tag them in the comment section. Hashtag Art of Dialogue. Whoever this dude is that's interviewing. Not this motherfucker. The dude who's interviewing. This is a very smart, very clever, good cop interrogation. The right questions. Everything people wants to know, but asking them in a the right way. Just seeing if Keefe D will leak anything out. Clearly he has been. Other than sweat and spit. If he came to LA, you used to give him protection, right? From the Southside Crips? Because he was scared of Suge Knight? It speaks for itself, my brother. Uh, he, he was playing chess, and I guess we was playing checkers, guys. So he was really scared of Suge Knight like that, yo? That's what it looked, that's what it sounded like, yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah. He, you know, he had, he had the music industry shook up. Yeah, he did. Fucking Keefe D heard that then. <laughs> he realized the interrogation, noticed the whole demeanor change there. The whole demeanor at the end and how he was engaging. Show a brother love. <laughs> That went, that went the minute that he felt like, oh, darn, you're shining a light at me now. There's questions. You're bringing Suge Knight into this. You're talking about fear, stuff that I can now remember, conversations I've been having, money that's been passed, potential money that's going to be given. You could see all that wheeling. Oh, fucking hell, Puck, man. I hope that justice is coming to you, brother, and I hope you're laughing your ass off. You only had to wait, like, what, 20 years, man? That's patience of a saint. Your music kept us here. So it's fine. We'll wait 20 more if we need to. Genius.